Hi folks, welcome to Thrive Mastering Midlife. One of the things that I've been doing uh, as of late and uh, actually for a while now is uh, checking out some Instagram posts, checking out some Facebook posts, checking out some groups, and just kind of listening and watching and reading some of the posts, some of the videos uh, that people are putting up with regards and, and with their experience in midlife. And I found one the other day, came across a, a post the other day on Instagram that I found very interesting. Uh, there's a lot of really good points in it and I just wanna go over it real quickly and talk about some of the points because I do, I, I agree with a lot of what he says in this post as it relates to midlife. And again, in midlife, things change, let's be honest. Things do change um, on a lot of levels. And I think that um, when, you, when you get to this age, your mindset changes quite a bit, sometimes uh, in a good way, sometimes not so good. Um, but this was, this was pretty interesting and, and, and I wanted to give you some perspective on this. So one of the things that he says or comments on is that you know, he has amazing kids. And, and when you're a little bit older, you know, hopefully you realize just how incredible your kids are. And he says, I sincerely hope that everyone feels about their kids the way I do about my boys and get as much joy out of being a dad as I do. And I can certainly relate to that. And, and as I, you know, navigate through midlife, um, my oldest daughter, 27, and a, an absolutely fantastic human um, and has a, an incredible life of her own. And, and I'm very much a part of it. And she's a part of my life and it's just, it's just amazing. And uh, my 13 year old, my youngest daughter, um, definitely is, um, it, it's fun just watching them grow. And now with the three boys, the twins and uh, Jackson, who's 11, you know, it, it's, it's definitely interesting in midlife having children. You just look at it a little bit differently than when you're in your 20s and in your early 30s. It's just, there's less panic about everything. You kind of get into your groove and you kind of kind of figure things out. Um, experience, and this is what he put for number two, I never really stuck with anything earlier in life. I had a chip on my shoulder, didn't really have an identity or a mentor. I chased stuff that ultimately wasn't of interest or importance, or I just plain messed up and I had regret. As I age, things have gotten simpler and clearer. And this is true, as we age, things should get simpler and clearer. They should get more simple. You should, we should be able to look at our lives from a different lens because of experience. Experience will give that to us. Experience gives us a different perspective on life. And we can use that experience, hopefully, to help other people. Number three, less care. Not zero, but fewer cares given. Family, fewer friends, but good friends. Solid career, solid face-to-face -face conversations, good health, good food, and a few trips a year. You know, for most people, it, it, it just, it gets quieter, it gets more calm. There's less, there's less cares. You're not so stressed out about everything in the world. If you've done the right work, and again, everybody's a little bit different. Everyone handles midlife a little bit differently, but this is the general consensus. And this is sort of, again, after reading a lot of posts and watching a lot of videos, this seems to be the perspective of a lot of people, a lot of my friends, this seems to be where they're at. Uh, in a few years, we'll be empty nesters. Now is the best time. I don't wanna miss anything, and this is true. If you have children, make the most out of the time you have with them because in a few years, and it goes by super fast, make sure you appreciate the time you have with them, make sure you, you're involved, make sure you appreciate those little things because before too long, it's over, it's done, it's gone. Broader network, better connections. And this is true as we age, we do have better connections. We're more connected, well, we're more connected today than, than ever before, but we generally have connections that are a little bit deeper because we've made those, those connections earlier on in our life and hopefully we've grown and nourished those connections. It's absolutely incredible. He says, I'm on bonus time and a lot of people that I talk to think the same way. His father died at 47 and he's past 47 now and uh, you know, figured that he's on borrow time, he's gonna make the most out of his time he has left. My mom's passed. A lot of you out there have, have mothers or fathers that have passed on and you know, we, we, we wanna make the most out of the second half of our lives. We wanna make sure that we enjoy the second part of our lives maybe even more than we did the first part of our lives. I, I loved the first part of my life. There was some, there was definitely some things that happened, some good, some bad, uh, but I appreciate it all more so now than ever before. And I, those lessons learned are very, very valuable. 
I have the time to just focus on doing things better, be a better husband, be a better dad, maintain my health, improve myself financially, fine tune my career, and be a better friend. And that's absolutely the truth. When we get to middle life, middle age, um, we just, we want to be better. It's, I don't know, again, maybe, maybe, maybe you, maybe not for you, but I think for most people in midlife, we want to make the most out of our lives and we want to be a better husband. We want to be a better man. We want to be a better person. And uh, we want to improve all the things in our lives because we pretty much have it honed in at this point, for the most part. Some people don't, some people never will. And that's okay. Uh, you know, no judge, judgment against anybody, but this stage of our lives, um, for most of us, we want to hone in on being the best we can possibly be. And this is, you know, th those are some of the things that most of us, um, you know, our health becomes a much, much bigger priority for us. Uh, and we want to be better people. We want to be more nurturing. We want to give more. We want to do more, volunteer, whatever the case may be. We just want to be better, per better, better people. You tend to care less about what other people think and not let the noise of others' opinions drown out your inner voice. Most importantly, you have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. This is probably the, my favorite part of this whole thing. And I'm seeing a generation of people who care so much about what other people say and what, what other people do. And, and, and they're watching on Facebook and Instagram and they're looking at these things and thinking that it's real and they're trying to one up and they're trying to live those kinds of lives. And they're not really appreciating the life that they have, or appreciating and being grateful for what you have. When you get to you know middle, middle age, um, you tend to care less about what other people think. You're, you you kind of, it's not really important anymore. It's more important about, you know, what you think and what your spouse, th it's, it's more important to think highly of yourself and, and, to, and to be in that zone and not really care too much about what other people say and what other people are doing. It's more about you and it's more about your focus for the future and what you can do, again, to be a better version of yourself. Uh, 10, improved power of perception. Just, you notice things more. You're more aware, your power of perception has increased with age and with experience. Number 11, no pretending. You can just be yourself. Because this, at this stage of life, you don't have to fake it. You know, most of us have, you know, we're, we're, we're with the people that we've chosen to be our family, to be our friends. Our, our, our circle of friends has gotten smaller. It's not as wide, it's, it's, but it's definitely deeper. And uh, you don't, you just, you don't have to pretend anymore. You can just be who you truly authentically are. Relationships and experiences have become more important and valuable than things. And this is true. The things you realize you can't take them with you. I've had all the things. I had all the things. Don't care about the things anymore. I want to have enough money so that I can have more experiences and help more people and do more for others at this stage of my life. And I'm sure a lot of you agree with that. Um, 13, I've made new friends who are very different from old friends. And this is true. And it's because as you age and as you are more experienced, you can kind of see you you can kind of see what's real and what's not. You can kind of see when someone is authentic. You can see when someone's being true, when someone's not pretending. Um, so the friendships that you build or that you nurture later on in life, in midlife, for example, they become a little more important because, well, there's a little more... You know, there's a little more vetting that goes on. You know, you're not just going to open up your life to anybody at this stage of your life. It's not just about volume. It's not just about having all the friends you could possibly have and being in, at the, the biggest events. It's about real friends and letting somebody into your world, letting somebody into your life um, is, is much, you're, you're just a little more suspicious, I guess is the word, or a little more careful, I guess is, is the right word. You're a little more careful about who you let into your circle. Um, and it's it's one of, the, one of those things that it takes time to get there, but once you get there, it's so freeing. And it's so freeing to know that uh, at this stage of my life, I'm at a point where I'm responsible. I feel responsible for everything that goes well in my life and everything that doesn't go well and everything that hasn't gone well. I take responsibility. I own everything that, I, that I've ever don't, done, everything that I am and everything that I will be. Having the luxury to do as I please. Number 14, bang on. Uh, you just get to that stage and it's fun. Number 15, everything still bothers me. I just handle it better. Move on and focus on controlling what I can control. You stop worrying about the little things. You stop sweating the small things. You stop worrying about things you have no control over and you focus more on the things that you can control and you just do, you just handle things very, very differently with, with less anger, with less abruptness, with a, you just handle things 
differently when you get to midlife. Uh, I have the conversations I want rather than engaging in the interactions I don't care for. Obviously, this is this goes hand in hand with the rest of this. I've started giving more and expecting less. This is big, and that that is that is huge. When you get to that stage in life where you are, you just don't expect things from people anymore. Just don't expect anything from anyone. Give, and know that when you're giving, that you're not expecting anything in return. Give from your heart. Give, but do not expect anything in return. It's a great, great feeling to have. Number 18, I'm healthier and have more energy than I ever have. And again, you build to that. But like I said, health becomes the most important thing that you have. It becomes the most important factor in your life because without your health, you can't enjoy all the other things. You can't enjoy your life to the fullest. You can't really get away with the things that you could get away with when you were younger. And I spend a lot less time on my hair. <laughs> the other couple that I'm just going to throw in, he didn't say these ones, but the other one that I'm going to, sh going to, going to share with you is, um, you know, when you get to this stage of your life, and we're talking about kids a little bit, or if you have kids, and if you are in a relationship, uh, you just, you need to show up. And, and when you get to this age, you do, you show up more, you show up more prepared, you, sh you just, you show up, you're there. And I know we live in a day and age where there's a lot of this going on and, and, and people are in the same room, but they're not sharing, they're not there. You have to show up and you have to keep showing up and you have to be there for your kids. You have to be there for your spouse, for your significant other. You have to be there for your closest friends. Just show up. That is another one that I'm going to add to the list. And this is again, midlife mastery. Mastering midlife is tough, but there's some good things absolutely that we all can learn from and build on and grow towards like to hear your perspective on these what your thoughts are on on this i thought it was fantastic i thought it was really well done there's some good stuff in there there's probably a lot more send them my way take care guys